Greetings, greetings. This is your brother Ross and I seek Shalom. Sitting here in my little office and um Yeah the Some thoughts, you know, always some thoughts. And some things I need to tell people about the uh the blood. What's in your blood? Um, what do they do with it? How do they perform the lab work? And um what are they really measuring? So I want you to take, um, you know, nobody likes needles. Nobody likes to get, the, you know, but everybody has to get their blood work drawn and, and tested. So in this uh, specialized tube that they have um, is anticoagulant so that it won't clot against the walls of the inner surfaces of the tube. And they send it to the lab and it goes through this process or this machine. This machine that moves really, really quickly and this, this process is called uh, centrifugation. So as it's moving really fast, it's actually separating some of the blood content and moving it towards the, the heavier parts or moving towards the, uh, the top of the tube and the, the lighter parts are moving towards the, the bottom of the tube. And in the middle of that tube, it's separated in three layers. Um, that your first layer, which may be 55% if normal, would be your plasma. This is where they draw your serum from. Your plasma is basically 90% um, water. They think, well, you know, the saying of blood is thicker than water, but 90% of your plasma is water. And the other 10% or 8% of that 10% would be your, your proteins, which is your albumin and your, your platelets. Your albumin is basically a, what binds all of your hormones or your, your medications that you take. Um, but um, they also have the antibodies, and this is part of your immune system. This is your protection from if you cut yourself um, and you get an infection, your immune system protects you. So that's your antibodies. That's part of that 8% of the top layer of this tube. Remember, we're still part of the top layer of the tube. And uh, you also have what you have uh, your nutrients. This is where they weigh all of your sodium, your, your phosphate, your potassium, your chloride, your urea levels, um, calcium, they have to measure all of that within your plasma area. That's within that 8% that of protein. Um, now we can start moving down within the tube. Um, this middle layer is white. Sometimes this tube looks fully white at the top and fully like bloody at the bottom. This is how you can tell that there's so many phospholipids that are in the blood and that is pretty much diagnosed as lipemia. This white layer that is in the middle, that is your white blood cells. And usually they measure this out. Uh, a normal level of white blood cells will be the count of uh, 5,000. This contains your, um, your lymphocytes. This is your, your, your blood lymphocytes. This is only about maybe 1%, 2% of this, uh, this test tube. Also, we can move further down in the tube and this is your, your red blood cells. The red blood cells are pretty much, um, rather than your iron, your hemoglobin is, uh, really high or really low. It's how you can tell if somebody is anemic. You heard the term of um, being anemic is, you know, really low blood count, really low iron count, low hemoglobin. And the opposite of that would be polycythemia, when there's a really high count of iron in the blood. Um, that's what's going on within the, the blood. So now you know what's going on in your blood system or you can uh, actually 
know what's on your levels when you go get a blood test. Um, there's normal levels that they keep the range between and I'm quite sure that they should still tell you exactly what the normal range is. So, give thanks for this presentation. Um, I got more to come. Bless you.